Well, hello, Scorpios. Happy birthday. Welcome to Send the Moon Guidance channel. If this is your first time being here, welcome to Send the Moon Guidance. If this if, if you're returning to Send the Moon Guidance, I thank you. Thank you for your love. All right now. Spirit wouldn't waste no time. I didn't even know we was about to start. <laughs> Again, Scorpios, happy birthday. Hope you guys are enjoying your time. Your season, I should say. Huh? Ooh, like that. Yes. We need two more, please, Spirit. Two more. Mm -hmm. Well, they got a little more than two, so. Yes. All right, Scorpios. Wait. Yes. I know it was something that wasn't feeling right. There we go. We're ready. Scorpios, before we get started, if you haven't already, please hit that button over there to the to the right to subscri subscribe to Sin the Womb Goddess channel. I truly appreciate that. All right. The bottom of the deck is the Queen of Love, Queen of Cups, loving spirit. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Where we are right now. Oh, we letting go of things that don't serve us. Yes. Hatred. <laughs> Grief. Yes. Jealousy, I'm hearing. All right. Sounds good to me, Scorpios. All right, where we are. I'm um, sorry, our challenges for the week are the... The Queen of Swords, taking your mask off. You want to be who you are. You want to be true to yourself. So by being true to yourself, you got to tell people exactly how you feel. No biting the tongue, even if it's going to hurt their feelings. Okay? Yeah. So you have to take your mask off. All right now. Our focus for the week. Ah, the hermit. We need to go and tap into the higher, higher self. Yeah. Take some alone time. Some alone time, I'm hearing. You need some alone time to rethink. Mm-hmm. Our recent past. Oh, did we give somebody a love offer? Wow. Maybe that's why we got to rethink things. What you doing over here? Excuse me. Excuse me for reaching. All right, now our strengths. Oh, whew. our strengths are going to be success. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I like that too. And then our future. Oh, new love. Do I hear new love? Ooh, yes, we got to clarify all of this. And our approach for the week. Oh, my. A new start. A new start. And the advice for the week. Oh, another ace to. Uh, and the ace of pentacles. That's money, baby. So that's going to be our advice. We're going to have to really clarify this card. <laughs> All right. Our hopes and fears. Taking that new start. You're fearing it. Mm -mm -mm. That's why we got all of this for the outcome of the week. Yep, you're in your head about this new future of yours. And it, it sounds like you're not trusting it. But they said you have to have faith. You have to have faith. Okay? And there's nothing but love. The king of cups. And the ten of cups. Happy, happy life. Happy family. Full of love and happiness. Whoo, this is Good, Scorpio. I like this. 
<laughs> all right scorpio let's go over some of the signs i see i see a lot of earth i see virgo taurus and capricorn strong virgo okay i also see you i see aquarius and libra also okay that's it <laughs> For now. <laughs> All right, this Queen of Swords, you want us to take off our mask, you say. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Number one, they seeing you stronger than you think you are. You smarter than you think you are. The plans that you have will work to make that money and that happy family. Where is that, that love at? See? You got now you got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This card right here is telling you 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 can have all of this if this is what you choose to have. But you gotta do it now. You gotta choose it now. Okay? And it starts off by taking off that mask. Woo! Hey. That was some strong stuff right there. All right, the hermit. Mm. Yeah. See, they want you to go within. Listen to your higher self. Okay. That's why they want you to take some time because they want you to re retune those goals. They're working for you. So some of the goals that you have listed, you, they're working for you. So they got to go off the list and you have to replenish your list to keep getting what you want and what you need. You're going to have to do some traveling. All right. Here, um, I see Taurus, Virgo, and um, I think it's Aries. Yes. You're going to have to do some traveling to be successful, I'm hearing. So it, it, it might mean you, you have to travel to... Um, to get a contract or this new position in a job or yeah and it's going to change your life it's going to be a new start in life itself this this trap whatever you have to do yes it's something that you love to do too yeah yeah it's it's like a a, a brand new company you starting or a brand new company that you help starting is coming from the ground up and it's going to blossom. That's how you're going to make this money and this, and this new start. And they also want you to start budgeting your money. They want you to start budgeting your money because <clears throat> they want you to learn how to, because you're going to get more money. They want you to know how to manage it. That's what I'm hearing. All right. They want to talk about love now. Oh, yeah. They want to talk about this love. This person, they sending you. They saying you want to marry them. They want to marry you. Okay. Yeah. Taurus energy. Yeah. Strong, strong. I'm feeling strong Taurus. Yeah. You love this person. They love you. They want you to go ahead, but the, but the, you're going to have to heal. You're going to have to let go of the trust. It's some trust issue. And I'm hearing some of you are married, and it's some trust issues. If you cannot get over those trust issues, it, it's, it's going to end. Your, your marriage is going to end, okay? So the, the trust issues is, I mean... You can't love with no trust. So to go forward with with um, with this love, you're going to have to trust. You're going to have to get it out your head. Okay. All right. It, it, the, I'm hearing that she loves you. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. So it could be both ways because now we have the king. that We have the king and the queen of love. 
Okay, so they saying to get out your head. You know you want to marry them and, and, and be with them for the rest of your life. Ooh. Yeah. It's a new beginning. They want you to stop overthinking. Some of you just say it's not going for it. <laughs> Some of you don't want the love, don't want the person, don't. Ooh, you got too many things going on. You got too many things going on. Ooh. Yeah. Some of you guys going to get someone new. Some of you going to get a divorce. And that's what all these swords were, were about. Some of you going to get a new love. And it's going to be your soulmate. Yeah. Taurus again showed up in Virgo. It's a lot of love too. Yeah, this is a new love though. It's somebody new. You haven't met them yet. They haven't even came yet, but they on their way. Now it's Cancer, Cancer energy. Yeah. So they want you to get it together. Get it together. Get it together. You can heal, and they're gonna help you. They want you to get um, some of you you guys with your goals to go forward. You have them written down. Um, I know some of you have goals that you accomplished, but some of you have goals that you're not even trying yet. But they want they seeing their work and the divine is going to be there helping you. So so it, it is going to give you happiness. So they want you to have courage to go after what you want, what you're passionate about. Woo. They want you to go after it. Yeah, in life, there is a little hiccups here and there, they sing. So, so what? Be the boss. All right? Stand up. Go for it. It's, it's in your lap, almost. You just, have to, you just have to step into it. You just have to go for it. When it comes to love, you just have to go for it. When it comes for that new opportun opportunity coming your way, you have to go for it. When it comes for that new, um, that new business, you have to go for it. It's there. The divine sin is there for you to have. It's your wish and they're giving it to you. But they can't make you go forward. They can't make you to go after it. See, they can't make you to go after it. You want to you want to turn your back on it. But they telling you is there for you. And it's definitely travel in, involved in, in the whole thing. Um, especially if in this new opportunity is, is travel. It's going to give you happiness. This new position, this new um Business is going to give you happiness. One reason is because you're going to get money from it. It already told you that. See? <laughs> and another reason is because you, it's something that you're very passionate about. See? Something you're very passionate about. Yeah. They want you to make the right decision. Because once you do, you're going to be sad. And you could just sit and smell the daisies. And that's Libra and Virgo energy right there. So around, around uh, this time next year, you're going to be set. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have abundance. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to have abundance. Yeah, they saying it just tapped into your intuition. And, it, and you are here at all. Everything I just said. See, some of you guys are going to meet someone that's very hot and it's, it's going to be a, they said a good opportunity. I don't know what that means. Oh my God. <laughs> hey. The Ace of Swords. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to be all up in your head about it. You're going to be like, what? 
I don't think so. It came too easy. It came too easy. What are they telling you to go for it? Hey, I don't know. They telling you to go for it. But they saying it's going to heal you. Wow. It's going to give you victory. All right, spirit. Mary God saying you're going to travel. It's going to be some traveling. You, you're not going to want to, but you're going to have to travel. You might even have to travel far. It, it, and it's it, a plane ride, by the way. <laughs> so, like, I mean far. So, you're going to have to um, be bold. You're going to have to put on your big boy pants, your big girl panties, uh, <laughs> whatever they say these days. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to have to be bold and go for it. Because it's going to give you happiness. Love and happiness. Yes. There go that woman again, y'all. Yep. And the opportunity. <laughs> I'm not going to say. <laughs> y'all know what that card is for me. Okay, that could be a Capricorn, though. Yeah. See, you, you're you still trying to go back to the OU. You're trying to go back to the OU. But they, their spirit is trying to tell you that, that you change. So don't go back. Don't go, don't go back. Go forward. Didn't we say that? Go forward. Wow. They saying you grew a lot. Here's the Ace of Wands again. So you have a, a abundance to if you go forward. They saying just have the courage, cause you you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna accomplish goals. Yes, I'm telling you about by September, October of next year, you're gonna be very happy, cause some of your goals, are, a lot of your goals are gonna be accomplished. But you gotta go for it. That's all. That's it. That's it. See? Go for it. <laughs> That's work. All right? All right, Scorpios. Again, happy birthday. Um, if you, I'm going to do a birthday special for you. So let me know if you want love, career, or uh, just life in general reading. So it'll be a general reading. And also, because it's your birthday, I will give you a birthday reading for half off. Okay, a personal re birthday reading for half off. I'm going to start this with you, Scorpio. I'm going to start doing this. All right, again, happy birthday, Scorpios. And thank you for being here with me and giving me love. And you know I can't let you go without asking you to like and share this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to <laughs> the Moon Goddess channel. And I am Sin, the Moon Goddess. And I'm out, Scorpios. Have a good weekend. And happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs>